everyone. It's Miss Artill, your school social worker. And today I'm going to be reading a story about responsible decision making and having the power to choose. The story I'm going to be reading is What If Everybody Did That by Ellen Jabernick. When we went to the zoo, I fed just a little of my popcorn to the bear, even though the sign said, please do not feed the bears. The zookeeper waved his broom and said, hey, what if everybody did that? Wow, the bears are eating a lot of different unhealthy foods for them. They might get sick. I just wanted to see how fast the grocery cart would go. It went faster than I expected. When the manager stopped me, she said, What if everybody did that? Wow. All these shopping carts, they can be dangerous and crash into each other, or maybe even knock down everything at the store. On the way to visit Grandma and Grandpa in Kansas, I dropped just one soda can out the window. The policeman who pulled us over said, what if everybody did that? Here we see a lot of litter that the animals might eat and get sick from. We do not want to litter and pollute the world that we live in. We want to take care of our environment. At Uncle William's wedding, I took just a little lick of the frosting from the fancy cake. The lady behind the table glared at me over her glasses and said, What if everybody did that? Even mad. Everyone ate their wedding cake before they could have a bite. I told the babysitter that I took a bath just once a year. As she shooed me into the bathroom, she said, What if everybody did that? Whew, personal hygiene is so important. Here, it's looking like everyone's dirty. They're wearing dirty clothes. Their hair is in brush. Their teeth are not in brush. Remember, it's always important to take a bath or shower every day. During story time, I had something important to say. I just couldn't wait till the end of the story. The librarian put her finger to her lips and said, Shh, what if everybody did that? And here it shows everyone calling out. The librarian would never get through her story. It says, I gotta go potty. Why can't we read one of those other books? I've already read this one. I'm so hungry. How much do you weigh? I can touch my toes, see? Oh boy. The librarian looks frustrated. While we sat in the car waiting for dad, I honked the horn. I just honked a few times, but Mr. Thompson came to his door. He shook his head and said, what if everybody did that? This looks like a very loud page. Everyone is honking and beeping. At the swimming pool, I just splashed a little. The lifeguard blew his whistle and said, What if everybody did that? And here we see that all the water is out of the pool. On the bus, I just lit up to see the fire truck. Mr. Gearshift glared at me in the rearview mirror and said, what if everybody did that? This is creating a very unsafe situation. Uh, firefighters telling them to sit down because the bus is tipping over. We always want to be seated with our seatbelt on. Safety comes first. Just once, I didn't hang my coat on the rack at school. Miss Sanders made me pick it up and said, What if everybody did that? And here we have a big mess in the classroom important to stay organized and take care of our belongings. We want to make sure we hang everything up. We don't want a messy classroom. At recess, I threw just one snowball at Sammy. Mr. Walter saw me. When he sent me to stand by the wall, he said, what if everybody did that? And here, it looks like everyone got snacks and cookies. They throw snowballs. This may upset other students. 
When we went out for dinner, I just shot one straw wrapper. The waitress stopped taking our orders and looked straight at me. She said, what if everybody did that? <gasps> wow, look at this restaurant. Straw wrappers are all over, disturbing the peace and getting in everyone's food. Definitely not the polite thing to do. After the football game, I just ran on the field to get the quarterback's autograph. The official waved his arms and said, what if everybody did that? <gasps> there are rules that can get you to stay as spectators on the sideline. We don't want to rush the field. And we don't want to get hurt if the players start playing again. When I came home, I gave my mom a hug. What if everybody did that? And everybody should. I hope that you enjoyed this read aloud of What If Everybody Did That by Ellen Jabernick. And I hope that you check out my lesson on the political decision making and having the power to choose. It's such a great review of how our choices can really shape our day and ultimately our life. And how our choices always come with consequences, whether they're negative consequences or positive consequences. Remember, it's important to practice these responsible decision-making strategies. Great job.